Hello everyone, welcome to another tutorial from Biology with Shalini and in this video I'm going to talk about fatty acids. Fatty acids are basically made up of hydrocarbon chain and they have a terminal carboxylic group. Diagram, this is the carboxylic group and this is the hydrocarbon chain. Okay, so if you guys are not familiar with the hydrocarbon which is the least probability but still the hydrocarbon, hydro carbon is an organic compound consisting entirely of carbon and hydrogen like uh, like this and there are three groups of hydrocarbon these are alkanes alkenes and alkynes now alkanes they have the single uh, bond between carbon carbon atom alkenes have double bond in between and alkynes they have triple bond between carbon carbon atom most of the fatty acids found in nature they have an even number of carbon atoms arranged in an unbranched chain so here you can see that this is an unbranched chain and there are two types of fatty acids saturated fatty acids and unsaturated fatty acids and in nature the saturation and unsaturation has got its own importance now i'm sorry now the chain length of fatty acids and degree of saturation and unsaturation determines the properties of fatty acids now let me tell you something about the saturation like saturated fatty acids they have no double bond in between so see see like this right if I make the structure then this is say okay I'm sorry this is so far so this is the structure of a saturated fatty acid right so in this case no presence um, absence of double bond is here this is the first functional group and the numbering of the carbon will start from this group right so this is the saturated fatty acid and in case of unsaturation unsaturated fatty acids we are going to see the presence of double bonds so if this is the fatty acid so here we can see the presence of double bonds right so this is the difference between saturated fatty acids and unsaturated fatty acids that here we can see the presence of double bond or triple bonds also so this is all about saturation and unsaturation and saturated fatty acid they have the general formula ch3 ch2 n c o o h where n is going to be even number okay so this is the difference saturated fatty acids have no double bonds they are saturated with hydrogen and unsaturated fatty acids they have got the presence of double bond or let's say triple bonds also now fatty acids are uh, okay so about the properties chain length of fatty acids and degree of saturation more the saturation more higher the melting point is going to be right so shorter chain if the chain of the fatty acid uh, fatty acid is shorter then it's going to have lower melting point if the chain is lengthy right then it's going to be higher melting point we are going to have because thus will need more power more energy to break the bonding so this is the first case and if let's say both saturated and unsaturated fatty acids have the same length of the chain then in this case unsaturated one is going to have lower 
melting point and the saturated one is going to have higher melting point because saturation has no double bond unsaturated um, fatty acids they can have double bond also they can have triple bond also and in most of the cases this bonding is going to be cis so we know that cis bonding is relatively weaker to the trans one trans bonding is strong right these so double bonds chains are going to have the kinks in between them and because of these kinks it's easy to get a lower melting point in case of unsaturated fatty acids now fatty acids are named according to carbon atoms total number of carbon atoms and to the position of any double bond all right and also there are non essential and essential fatty acids now the non essential fatty acids are those fatty acids which our body can synthesize and essential fatty acids are those which our body cannot synthesize so we have to take it from supplements from our food and basically in nature linoleic and linolenic acid are the essential fatty acids and they help in building omega 3 and omega 6 fatty acid so the naming of this fatty acid not of this fatty acid only uh, of every fatty acid is going to start from this functional group so we'll name it 1 right 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 and 10 okay these are 10 carbons right so we are going to name it decanoate right and since there is no double bond present so shorthand notation given to this uh, to this structure is 10 0 agar yahan pe double bond ka presence hota ek double bond hota then we would have given it the notation like this right so it's always going to start from this point from the very first carbon of the functional group and it's going to go like this till the end of the chain now as i've told you that agar yahan pe double bond hota uh, let's say 1 2 3 4 5 5 yahan pe carbon number 5 ke paas mein double bond hota so we'll cut it now so we'll give it a sign like this and double bond delta 5 it's going to show that the bonding is between 5 carbon number 5 and 6 so also the thing to be considered here is the configuration this is cis form okay so cis agar ye trans hota to ye opposite side mein hota ye hydrogen is side hota right so both are in the same direction then we are going to call it cis delta 5 cis and simple decanoid right agar ye 16 carbon hote then we would have written it 16 1 and deca means 10 and 16 so 6 plus 10 Six for hexa, ten for decanoid. So it's going to be hexa decanoid. Since they are uh, not soluble soluble in water, but still, if we have to give the solubility order, then we'll give it like tri, di, mono acyl glycerol. Tri will have least solubility in water. Di will have relatively Uh, much solubility in water and monoacyl glycerol are going to have the higher solubility in water as compared to these two fatty acids act as fuel molecule because they are stored as triacyl glycerols right and later on when they are broken down they are going to generate energy now they make glycerophospholipids and spingolipids also which are essential components of biological membrane which is a a topic of which comes under cell biology and i am going to explain all about these lipids spingolipids and phospholipids and all 
Now proteins get covalently modified by fatty acids. Now, state which is having a short end nutation, carbon 14 and no double bond so it is going to be zero here. So what do they do? They are directly attached to some protein to modify them, right? While some of the fatty acids like phosphatidyl inositol, phosphatidyl inositol is covalently attached to like this is if this is the N terminus and this is the C terminus. So this phosphatidyl inositol is going to attach here, right? to modify it and this modification is covalent in nature right so this is covalently linked to the c terminus of the protein and uh, this is going to modify it which is covalent in nature and hormones are also the derivatives of fatty acids like intracellular second messengers dag and ip3 and these help in cell signaling right cell signaling so thus this is the importance of fatty acid and this was the brief introduction to uh, fatty acids and in my next videos upcoming videos i'm going to talk all about fatty acid synthesis and fatty acid breakdown also so please uh, keep on watching my videos and keep liking them and subscribe to my channel if you haven't thank you